Electrochemist extraordinaire Alan Bard uses light, generates light, transforms light. His pioneering ECL has enabled the clinical community to detect the HIV virus and analyze DNA. Today, Bard wants to harness the power of sunlight to produce new fuels. A major problem of our day and will be a continuing problem for mankind, of course, is energy. And where we're going to get sustainable energy when the fossil fuels run out. Natural photosynthesis has the great advantage that it's self-healing, renewed every year. But to get the fuel we've burned in a hundred years took millions and millions of years of natural photosynthesis to accumulate this stuff. We've been looking for a material that will carry out artificial photosynthesis. And so our goal is to do it 15 times better in terms of efficiency. Working from part intuition and part persistence, Bard and his lab at University of Texas, Austin, are processing chemical compounds in rapid fire, looking for the right hit. It's the most difficult part right now to find the right material. Once that material is found, then there will be much more work done on how to synthesize large amounts of it. Bard's groundbreaking development of the scanning electrochemical microscope may help speed up the discovery process. I'm reasonably certain that this whole approach will be successful because if it's not, mankind is in big trouble. The field progresses and I think we'll eventually get a system to work.